guys, Hogwarts Legacy. This thing got a huge update. It got another gameplay reveal, and we're going to talk about it. So the first thing that they showed off in this gameplay, can you guys see Jack and everybody see? I think they can. I mean, just look at this landscape. First of all, they just show this guy walking. Jack, thoughts, since you haven't seen this. Um, it seems that they've done a really good job with aesthetic looking in the sense of like deep rendering. Um, yes. Which I, I love that, especially in these like solo player games and things like that. Being able to see mm -hmm. the fact that they took the time to work on every single detail, you can tell they've done a lot to yeah. make sure that this game is dead set on storytelling. Mm -hmm. Which oh, is absolutely. All Harry Potter is. So. Dude, and yes, and as as you're gonna see right here, going into this, uh, they they clearly showed off more broom flight right here, mm -hmm. and they basically said uh, that you can basically fly anywhere, anything you can see on the screen, you can just fly to it. That's so, awesome. yeah, what I what I drew from uh, from this gameplay thing was like, the the broomstick you kind of use to fly like lower in the world and then you'll see later we're gonna go through it there's actually like you know like a hippogriff and like other animals and stuff that you can summon and you use those to fly like in the sky which is even cooler gotcha. and so yeah and you can see the world you guys again it's like it's super nice looking and uh it looks all rustic and whatnot uh because it's actually set in the 1800s we talked about this last stream uh but dude it looks it looks so freaking cool i, I think they did a really good job too i totally agree with you jack um but another thing on the brooms, you can actually buy different brooms, by the way, and you can upgrade them, too. So you can, yeah, like, fly faster and do different things with it and just make them look different. You can know the, the, the transmog thing's big in this game. Um, but from a gameplay perspective, like, this looks super smooth, you guys. Like, now, very, very they smooth. Using, they say kind of, like, what they're using to render all this? Like, what I have no idea. No, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what their engine and stuff like that is, but... This is this is just, this is normal gameplay right here. Like this is somebody like the, in the room, uh, they're capturing that somebody's just playing the game. Interesting. So that also, yeah, I know. That looks as somebody like that doesn't necessarily play a whole lot of solo player games. The ones that I have played, I want it yeah. to be aesthetically pleasing because I don't Absolutely. want to feel bored. I can't tell you how many games I've tried to play a campaign and it just mm -hmm. is boring to me. On here right. you're worried about the aesthetic and it seems that they yeah, really you're worried about what you can see and like what you can do and like exactly. what i was gonna say right here is you can see that like there's random they call them hamlets um like there's little little mini towns that you can fly to um there's not like a ton of them because like in the in the world like the hogwarts and the the harry potter world um the actual like the the one real like town is supposed to be um uh hogsmeade yeah. but so they so that way they can make the world feel more alive. There's these smaller hamlets that you can fly to with people doing things like this guy right here, you know, having a magical, uh, what is that? A, a freaking, is that a bassoon or something? I don't know what that is. Not a bassoon, but a, uh, a French horn playing, um, and, and just doing magic and stuff like that. And then of course there's these like little, I don't know, these really cool looking houses that are overgrown and stuff like that. Just the world just looks really, really cool. It, it honestly, guys, it's giving me Skyrim or like red dead redemption Two vibes, but that like set in a wizard did. world. That's hilarious Which, what was that? you say that. Because Geo literally said, looks a lot like Red Dead 2. Seriously, like it, it does. It's like Red Dead Redemption 2, but with wi wizards and witches. Like now, it's so cool. And then like, see like this right here, they're showing off. You can actually go to these other uh, little people, uh, people's shops that are in certain hamlets that you find and buy upgrades that you can only get there. Interesting, interesting. So that's, as that's you discover cool. them, you can discover new stuff and you see those icons on the screen. It's exactly what that is. Anytime there's an icon right there, it's either like an item you can pick up or like some kind of new thing that you can find, now which is really, really cool. Do you play this on controller or keyboard and mouse? Uh, I think so. This is like mainly made for like the PS5 is like the main the main thing. So I, I believe it's a more of a controller game. So as I said, the broom flay is one thing, but now they've added oh, this, you guys. Check this out. Check this animation out. He pulls out this little box like from Fantastic Beasts and magically a hippogriff comes out and you can fly it. Check this out, you guys. It's like this is how the mounts work. So you can do it. You can fly hippogriffs. You can fly. There's a, there's a bunch of different stuff you can get in the game. And this is what you use to kind of fly around like super high around the world. So, yeah, it's 
again, what I want to comment on on this is like it's very smooth looking. It's not super stuttery, nothing like that. It just looks good, and it and it just like all the animations and whatnot, like the the guy's coat whipping through the wind, like everything just looks awesome. And then I can't like take my eyes off the freaking like the landscape and stuff. It feels like you you can just look at like that windmill off in the distance and be like, hey, I want to go there, and you can fly there. So that's what gets me excited about this. But uh, another thing I want to show you guys further in the video here, they show the seasons changing. So you see right here, we're kind of in, I don't know what this is, maybe fall. And then right here, they show it changing to winter. So there's actually like a full like a seasons type thing going on. There's a full day night cycle. Um, it, it's very, very, very detailed. And th there's just so much to it uh, that makes it more immersive, you guys. Um, and they actually confirmed that the school and Hogsmeade, the main town uh, from Harry Potter, will actually react to holidays and they will change for those holidays, too. So, like, even though it's a single player game, like when it's Christmas time or Halloween, there will be decorations throughout the game uh, that, that take effect when that happens. So super, super cool stuff, you guys. I, I'm very excited about that. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you guys in this video was they uh, actually showed the uh, dark arts. So if you guys purchase the dark arts pack, which is in the digital deluxe edition, I believe I already pre-ordered that or my wife pre-ordered it for me. Uh, you can actually get this little area right here uh, where you use the dark art stuff they give you. And oh, I just skipped that. He just summoned, I think it's a, a is it a, a, a pestula, I think it's called. Uh, right here, you can see it. I'm probably saying the name wrong. I forget what it's called, but there you go. It's like the it's like a uh, an undead horse with wings. I forget what those things are called. I sh as a Harry Potter fan, I should know. I feel I feel terrible for not knowing that. But yeah. anyway, you can go to this uh, do uh, battle dungeon thing right here to test out like all of the dark arts. Uh, what do you call it? Spells. So they 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 blurred all this so you didn't see it until the game actually comes out, which is which is fine. I I it's fair, but yeah. You can go in here and you can battle and you can do all this different stuff and test different spells in your spell bar and kind of see if you want to go down the path of the dark arts and do that instead of being a good witch or wizard. So they give you a lot of options, it seems like, and they give you a lot of ways to like figure out which path you want to take because all the stuff that you do in this game, like like many other RPG games, it matters and, and the choices you make. Uh, kind of define where you're gonna go within the game, which is pretty sweet and just looking at this stuff guys uh, I think Jack and and I la last time Jack you, we were talking about the combat and whatnot and like the, the gameplay combat. loop yeah. and, and showing this right here and as I look at this the combat looks really fun man like mm -hmm. other than the fact that like the enemies kind of like in a couple of other games that I've seen they seem to maybe attack like one at a time which is kind of weird like look at this guy standing behind him see why he's not doing anything mm -hmm. He's yeah. just standing there. I wonder, I don't know why that is. I'm not sure if that's going to be like that in the finish game. It might um, be a, uh, like a player difficulty. It could, exactly. Or it could be something like that too. It could be the difficulty. Exactly. Um, I know there's a bunch of different spells and different things you can do to stun your enemies to get them to just kind of like sit there. Like he just did right there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then and to keep them at bay so that way you can you can fight one at a time rather than like five. But either way, dude, like look at the, the combat looks smooth, man. You can see the hit point numbers. You can toss them up in the air, slam them on the ground. It, it looks pretty cool, man. It looks like a lot of fun. I like, I like I, seeing I, that because yeah. th this gives me uh, the vibes of like the most recent um, uh, like combat that we've seen from the new uh, Star Wars game that's actually coming out. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that gives me a feel of that. And somebody, again, that doesn't play a whole lot of single mm -hmm. player games, this is appealing to me. Yeah, and, and you, you have to, like, for certain enemies, dude, so what they said in one of the other gameplay uh, features is that certain enemies will have, like, colors around them. You see how they have these these bubbles around them, the, the, the purple bubbles? Mm -hmm. Like, you have to use certain spells to counter that and to break, to break, break those. So you gotta uh, learn it, yeah. You gotta learn certain combos, you gotta get a certain spell to be able to break their shield or whatever it is, and then combo that with something else to actually take the person out, which is pretty freaking cool, honestly. Which, which makes me feel like it's, uh, you know, it's like it's, it's something that I want to try. I want to try the systems a bit more and figure out uh, different ways to uh, to go about combat. And one of the really cool things they said too is you can actually like create potions 
and use certain plants, uh, like in from classes that you take in Hogwarts, to uh, take with you into combat and actually, you know, uh, better yourself in combat. So like certain plants will will um like like you could take a mandrake, mm-hmm. you can pull out a mandrake and it will stun your enemies for you. So that way you can just you know hit them. Because mandrakes oh. like when they because when they when they scream or whatever you can't like it makes people like not be able to hear things, which is kind of cool. Okay, so this is basically like your home within Hogwarts where you can do all sorts of stuff and it's completely customizable. Like you can actually customize the look of this entire room, like the architecture. And it shows it here in the video in a second. You can actually like if you don't like the way the top of there looks, you can switch it if you want to. You can make it look like something else. That's actually again that so like something that I've fail to find in most recent games to be completely honest with you is the sense of grinding and getting towards an achievement Um, yeah look at that see how he just changed it yeah so like like how cool is that over time being able to do that because like the most recent game i'll be honest with you that i felt that sense of like grind i guess to like Mm -hmm. unlock a certain item or that Mm -hmm. kind of thing yeah has been tarkov but it's very repetitive It is, yeah. Things that you have to do, so it gets boring. On, I'll be honest, like whenever I'm seeing this and that kind of thing, and how there's so much to do, I feel like there's always going to be something new I have to learn and I have to Mm -hmm. accomplish, and it won't be repetitive. I hope that's the case. I know that this is very early in the stage of what they're showing, but if it's Mm -hmm. not repetitive and that kind of thing, I feel like this could be one of those games that I play for a long time, like Fallout. Yeah. How like Fallout Four, there was that's, always something. That's to do what I'm saying, stuff. dude. Like it, it's giving me vibes like that, where like it's it, the customization is like so like deep, um, yeah. In in that sense, but it's also like the, each each item when you like transmog them or, or you change them and whatnot, uh, there's like this animation that that each one of them has that makes it seem like gratifying that you did it. Exactly, like it's not just yeah. like oh you just took out a chair and placed it. You know what I mean? It's like. There's actually, you actually wave your wand and like you, um, they call it, um, what do you call it? Um, they, they call it conjuring it. So you like, you make it appear instead of just like, oh, you have this random chair that just appears out of nowhere. You yeah. actually use a spell and like make it appear. And it's, and it like, it looks like it's, I don't know, man, it's more, uh, I don't know. It's more sense of accomplishment because you're, you're using your wizard powers to do it. I guess it's, it's, it's that it gives you that kind of feel. So, yeah. And then this this area here is where you also um, let me show you this. Where's the gear at? Um, you are able to identify uh, gear that you find within the world that has uh, different traits on it, and you're able to like transmog it. You're able to swap traits um, and do all this different stuff. And of course, it costs um, these requirements that you have to get to be able this to is, do it. This is giving me a lot of vibes between like several of those single player games and like the best aspects of them between Red Dead, uh, Jedi mm-hmm. Fallen Order, Fallout mm-hmm. 4, Destiny yeah. 2, all yeah. these really good games where you've always wanted to go back at some point because yeah. there's always something new. Now, yep. I'll be honest. You know what I'm only one of my main concerns are for games like this. What's that? How will they go about updates along the way what are they mm-hmm. adding because it seems like they've done a good job about what they're adding so far but is it one of those games oh there's that there's that's because dude there's so there's so much more to add because of how like how like uh what do you call it um robust this world is like how much to it there is yeah so, so they have they saying, have so much like, to work with already jack that like adding stuff is easy okay like okay. right now they're in the stage of trying not to uh trying not to what do you call it leave anything out because there's so much people want when the game releases already that it's like they're like when once the game releases they're like oh they oh now we can just add whatever after this because there's yeah. a lot of stuff to do because that, you know that, I mean? that, would, that would be my only worry uh, especially mm-hmm. for a single player game um yeah because i'll give you a good example um with destiny for instance i know it's a multiplayer mm-hmm. game but like the, yeah. as- the aspects of the game are the same um yeah. after whenever the first one they did like three dlcs and they couldn't figure out anything else to do and the game went down they had to come out right. with a second game and i don't know if you know anything about destiny 2 or anything like that 
but they've just come out DLC after DLC after DLC after DLC. They've come out with, they've created a whole storyline and done really well with it to the Mm -hmm. point where I always go back to the game just to play the story mode of that. Mm -hmm. Not to do everything else I've already done, but they always add something that seems appealing, doing the new raids and things like that. Yeah, I think that's I think that's where they're going to go with this, to be I honest hope, with yeah, you. Like, there's so much well. and like they haven't put Quidditch in yet. They haven't, there's so many things that they can do uh, from this world that are that could be add ons to it. Like, there's a lot. So, like, I think I think they've already done like you can already see it. I think they've already done a lot with it, uh, but I think they can even do a lot more for absolutely, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I just I just hope it doesn't turn into one of those games like um red dead or something like that where it just dies out of nowhere because there's well yeah but else. dude th- I, I don't know man if you're a fan of this this universe like i am oh, like there's absolutely. so much there's so absolutely. much stuff to see and the fact that you can just like hop on a broom and fly into hogwarts like anywhere in the castle is just nuts like fans of the of the universe like me have been wanting to do this for so long like absolutely. for real absolutely. but jack this you might like because check this out so this next part right here is a bit like Hogwarts slash Pokemon, Pokemon, like Pokemon universe. Like you, you can care for beasts and they give you their uh, special, like, what do you call it? Magical properties. And that's what you use to craft. And that's what you use to like do stuff within your, uh, your little room of requirement and whatnot and, and, and make new gear and do all this different stuff. So I think they didn't show it, but I think you can like find these out in the world. I think you rescue them from like, from, uh, poachers and you kind of like get them like, like you were to like to find a Pokemon and then they become, they become yours and you keep them in this little sanctuary you do. And this whole area too is all fully customizable. Everything. And then you like feed your pets, but you become friends with them. And then look, see, then he gives you uh, his ma- like his magical properties, and then you're able to use that as uh, as as your uh, crafting stuff. So, so <clears throat> it's a little cutesy and whatnot, but I think it's rad. Like, cause these magical creatures are awesome, dude. So I will give a good um, good props to Geo. He said off on in games until they, until it's a hundred gigabytes. Oh, I could care less. Just make it as um, big as you want. I could. I don't care. <laughs> I, de- I, I definitely can understand where he's coming from in that sense because that's definitely yeah. a big deal for some people. Um, yeah, it is. Especially like you know, with the newest games and things like that, and they're costing so much. But like I will say, whenever you think about it in the long run, for a game mm-hmm. like this, you have to expect yeah. something like that. It's not yeah. like a first-person shooter like what Warzone did, which is make it yeah. twenty-three gigs. Right. Um, you can't do that in a game like yeah. this because there's just so much detail into it you have there, there's a lot to it i i could see this game being pretty big it's going to be it, I, I, just, I, I just checked and it said it's recommending on consoles 85 gigs yeah it's gonna be up to 100 gigs bit like size for sure because like i mean just look at the the, de- the amount of detail and the amount of things you have in it it's a lot of information and then so like like what i'm going to show you right here this whole area right here you can customize literally everything just like the other one that's awesome. You can do whatever you want to it. You can, you know, conjure whatever you want in this whole area and make it your little area for whatever you want. And you can, of course, all this different stuff to feed your pets. And then you can eventually uh, upgrade it like with this kind of stuff, mm-hmm. which helps you uh, feed your pets and make them. Uh, what do you call it? Get you your resources faster that you use to craft. Gotcha. And I think uh, Moonstone was the, is the main crafting ingredient for a lot of the things, and you can actually find it within this area too. I think a little bit further here, he he harvests some. Oh, right there, he was playing with the one the one animal. He was like having it kick a ball. That was pretty cool. But yeah, you can do all sorts of fun stuff with these animals. Um, craft stuff. Where's the Moonstone? And I'm trying to find him. Uh, he did do it. It's somewhere right here. Oh yeah, he, there's a little little statue he does. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, you see, they're like there's little nodes over here. Oh, I think he already. Yeah, th- these little guys. Mm-hmm. You can uh, you can harvest it and whatnot, and then you can use those resources to craft stuff. So it's pretty cool, man. Um, but then the last thing they showed, I want to show you guys this. They showed this whole area, and they give you this little sneak peek right at the very end, just to confuse everybody and to keep everybody on the edge of their seat. <clears throat> and it was this right here. Just watch this. Give me your thoughts on this, Jack. What do you think is going to happen here? It's a Slytherin guy, 
and he sees a book. And look what oh. happens. And he just gets sucked into it. So did okay. So did you see? Did you see the little like the little like icon on it? How it was like a quest icon almost. Watch this again. Look at the little thing on it. There's like see that little guy, that little yellow thing. Uh huh. So I see that as like maybe a quest icon of some kind. Like okay, like this is a thing that you can click to like start a quest or you know uh, something you want to go to, right? In most games, that would be that. So. There's obviously going to be a type of quest you can find, like these hidden things within books that maybe I'm thinking they suck you into the book and maybe take you into the, either the past or something like that, or even the future or somewhere else hmm. within like the, the world of this book right here, or whatever story is happening. Because in the actual Harry Potter Harry series Potter. That, happened, that, that happened Harry to Harry, Potter. like he got sucked into a book and then went and did a whole bunch of stuff with uh, yeah. like the, you know, with like Tom Riddle and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be pretty sick, man. I'm excited for it. Anyway, I just wanted to go, to go on a rant about this game because I am very excited about it. And uh, there was a lot just dropped on us right there. So, uh, yeah, you that guys let me know what you think down in the comments of this video. I want to know what everybody else thinks about so, what I just said and what we I'm talked about. I'm not a big nerd and I don't know everything. Obviously, I know Harry Potter and a couple of the characters so forth. And uh -huh. I get the concept of the story. I don't know everything. So I feel like if I did play this, I would have a little hard time understanding a little bit. But like if it hits me in the right spot, I'll be one of those yeah. people that would be dedicated to it. To learn. Yeah, so to learn I think the fun I think the fun thing, Jack, is that this is not based off of like the actual Harry Potter story. And it's set like a hundred years before that. It's set in the eighteen hundreds. So like Harry Potter doesn't even exist yet. Yeah. This is just like Red Dead Redemption, but you're a wizard. And right. you got all these different powers you can use. You know what I mean? Yeah. 